right, here we go. We're getting ready to go through the purses that I got on the online auction. I hope you enjoy these as much as I do. There's some really pretty ones in here, but I haven't had much of a chance to, to look at them until now, so I'm going to be as excited as you are. So let's get started with the first one here is this pretty blue satiny with the iridescent beads and it has a zipper top. Looks like there's some paper stuffed in here. Actually looks like there's a receipt in here. We'll look at that in a minute. Well, it's got a nice long strap on it. Looks like a kind of a rope strap. So it's a shoulder bag and it has a Carla Marchi is the brand. It's very pretty, just nice, small, maybe about eight or nine inches. I probably could sell this for in the 20 to $30 range. Let's look at this. It's a famous bar receipt and it looks like this purse cost $15.09 back in 1970. That's awesome. It's worth more, a little more than that now. All right, that was purse number one. Here's a cute little one. It has a little rose on it, um, little hook and loop type of closure, and it's just, you can't really see. It's, it's plain on the inside, and it was made in China. It's 100% polyester. I don't think this one is all that old. It may be from about the 70s, Might, I'm guessing. A short little strap to carry with your formal dress you're wearing. That might be, I don't know what I'll do with that one. That one I'll probably either donate or sell. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. It's not going to sell for a whole lot, maybe 10, 12 bucks. This one is a pretty gold iridescent. It looks like it has some little marks like indentation. Oh, this side's got a little bit more indentations on it. It's got a pretty honeycomb looking clasp on the top. And it has a gold chain that um, you can put inside or outside and a satin interior. It's really clean. Stick that back in there. Very nice. I don't know. With these little marks on here, I probably can't sell this for more than $10 or $12, but it's a cute little vintage purse. This is interesting. Look at this. It's got a like a handle strap on it. I love this, this uh, acrylic. This reminds me of mid-century, like 50s, but the purse itself looks older. Maybe it's 30s or 40s, and it has some damage here, some, some wear on this leather, which I don't think, even if I polished it, it would come, um, it would look any better, so. Here's the inside, has two side pockets, pretty cool. Little linen style. It's heavier than linen though. Um, it's not satin. Maybe a, like a, I don't know, a taffeta. But I love this little strap here to hold it and carry it as you're just off to your side. That one, I don't know what I'll do with it since it has damage to it. Here's another little black purse. Oh, look at that. Cute little bow tie design here. I like that. That, whoops, makes it formal looking. A little gold clasp on top. Yeah. And it has a pretty gold chain in the inside too. That can be wore. You can carry it outside or if you just want to use it as a clutch, you can put it on the inside. I like that. And the little satin material inside is pretty, pretty clean. It's got a little couple little spots, but not bad. And it's probably about 12 inches wide and real narrow. It's a nice little clutch, a nice little vintage clutch, probably worth $20, $25 maybe. This next one is pretty sparkly. All women like bling. I like this. Oh, it has a little bit of discolorant right there, just a little yellow stain. And it looks like there's some other marks in there, yellow stains. It's got a line right here, but I don't think that that's going to affect the value because it's vintage and I think people can look past that. 
this is there's a stain on this I don't know if I could work that out of there since it's it's really an ivory color it's not white so if I bleached it I don't know if it would come out or not it might but really it's pretty look at that and there's not a rhinestone missing on it and it's got some iridescent beads up on the top and some copper looking beads between a snap closure it's by L. Magnan. I think that's out of Los Angeles. It looks like the tag on the inside here was tore out. But very nice satin interior with the long strap. Pretty nice. That one maybe with the flaws on it might be worth 20 And look at this cute little one. Oh, this has got some damage to it though. You see the beading on it is coming coming off a little bit. Might be able to be repaired by somebody that knows what they're doing and that's not me. So it's really pretty. It's beaded. This is all beading in between the, the ivory beading. Oh, you can tell how old it is just by looking at the inside. The, the lining in here is like a shiny linen. you see very nice it's just a cute little handheld oh it does have a handle on it a beaded handle it's a short one but it's really cute 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 that one with the damage on it probably is maybe worth 18 I don't know that I would price it anywhere over uh, 20 20 dollars this one is so pretty these are the kind I love like the chatelaine if I'm pronouncing it right it it kind of reminds me of that I don't think it is but it's about from that era the 20s it's got this chain style strap on it, it looks like it's kind of faded or like it might have been gold but maybe Maybe not. Since this is silver, I guess the strap was supposed to be silver. It's got this cute little clasp. It does have damage right here. And looks like it has damage on the side too. Probably from rubbing, from opening the clasp up. But that tells you it was used. People use these. It's so cute. Can you just see somebody walking into a, a beautiful dance with a ball ballroom style dress on and this hanging on their side just holding in their they're holding it in their hand I just love it it's cute it's got rhinestones and pearls other than the damage on it I'm not oh there's a little spot here where it's missing like one rhinestone and one pearl maybe and the inside is that that old linen material again has one little side pocket. Very nice. This one, since it has the damage, I would say maybe I would list it around 25, 30. Otherwise, with no damage, probably more in the 45 range, I would guess. Okay, moving on to the next one. This is certainly different. It's like almost like, it reminds me of tweed. It's got yarn. This is yarn design, and this is like burlap material. Very interesting, but I love these tops, how they used to make them. And look at this clasp on here. Let's see if I can get a better image of it. It just pops over top. Cute. Oh, and then the inside's got a leaf pattern to it. That's different. I like that. And it even has, whoa, has some stitching on here to give it accents. And on this side too, they put a lot of work into this purse. And these two little pockets. What surprises me is that they're so clean that people back then took care of their, their stuff so much better than we do today. Look at the burlap material. You can tell it's homemade. Love this. And the back's completely the yarn design. I like the pattern. And it has a silver chain on it. That's not real long. 
It's one you would hold to your side. Okay, uh, that one I might put 25 to 30 on. Here's a cute little hand purse. It's got a little snap. It kind of looks newer, a little newer to me, but not that much newer, like maybe the 60s. This clasp looks really shiny and, and new, unless it was added later. But all the uh, beading looks like it's all intact. Looks very nice, just cute little hand purse. But this probably isn't worth more than $10, $12. But it's still pretty, see it sparkle in the light. Okay, this one is the next. It is kind of a black silvery color. It's just a clutch and it has a zipper in it. And the name is Sonia Kashuk with a brown liner. I think that's brown. It looks brown to me. And the outside's black and silver. This cute little clutch in really good shape. All right, uh, and let me dig the big purses out. Hold on a second. We have some coach purses. This kind of, this always reminds me of the Vera Bradley look, but in the coach style. I love the, the different patterns in these fabrics. And it's really clean. I'm not an expert at determining if things are authentic or not, but this one to me looks authentic. It has the coach um, hang tag and the stitching on it just seems very straight. And if you look on the leather straps on the top, they are stri very straight, the stitching is. Let's look on the inside. Oh, and it even has the coach liner to it. This one's probably maybe from the 90s, 80s at the earliest. I don't know if anyone is more of an expert at this than me. You can leave it in the comments below whether you think it's authentic or not. It does have the coach little hang tag on the inside as well. It's got the zippered pocket and a side pocket. And it is pretty clean. And on the outside, it has a zippered pocket too. So that's that. And here's the next one. This one looks 70s to me. I like it. I, I love the 60s and 70s era. But this is part leather, part fabric. And it looks like it's stitched up well does have a couple little flaws. Here's the bottom. Looks a little worn in spots. This is the four feet. But it has this little flaw right here. But if you figure it's from the 70s probably, it's probably uh, been used and worn quite a bit. It has coach on the um, hardware, which tells me it's more than likely authentic. Here's another one. Okay, let's look on the inside. This was from the online auction and they had it listed at $80. They didn't sell it for that, but inside's got this weird plasticky material. Makes me wonder if it's real because of this. I'd have to look, check into if coach purses used this type of material back then. And here's the tag on the inside with the item number. Let's see. This does not say coach on it, but the inside line, lining does have coach all over it. It has a side pocket, two side pockets, and a zipper top. Let's see if the zipper works. It's a little snug, but it, it, it works pretty good. And here's a cute little coin purse 
with the same material on the inside connected to it and you can take it off you can unhook it love that the leather straps seem to be in pretty good shape all right that one I don't know how to price coach purses because if first of all are they authentic that's my biggest concern and then I'll find out what price to price them this one they have priced at $40 but they did not sell it for that it's cute it's just kind of a one pocket thing that's just sticking it's got a braided strap on it if you can see that there that's better not sure what time frame this came from but most of the time you look at the seams on coach purses I don't I'm beginning to think this one's not real because look how this does not match up with this and like this line doesn't match up with that line and they, it doesn't here either like on this seam none of these this one happens to just this one that's about it when you spend that much money on a purse they're very particular about how they sew pieces together and how they make it look as nice as they possibly can it's got a zipper pocket on the inside a little leather tag and it's got another couple pockets on the other side and it looks like it might have had a coin purse hooked to it at one time but none of the hardware says coach on it at all so I'm, I'm my guess is this one is not real so I probably won't post this not probably I won't post this if it's not real the zipper's kind of sticky too so anyway that is the last purse we have. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you like it, like the video, you want me to do more hauls, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day.